Where can you fly your drone in Oregon? I'm Tony Moreno, back with more of the best of drone pilot business strategies. Breathtaking and always alluring. From the mountains and deserts to a majestic coastline, the state of Oregon beckons drone flyers on a global scale. But of all the natural beauty to be taken in from the air, along with ever-shifting rule changes, where in Oregon can we fly our drone? Well, because you asked on this edition of Drone Business Strategy Magazine, we're exploring the top spots to capture awe-inspiring aerial imagery across the skies of Oregon, while reflecting a bit upon the ins and outs of some of the various drone regulations in the state. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to another installment of Drone Business Strategy Magazine. Today, we're addressing a common question among drone pilots who aspire to fly the Oregon skies. Where can you fly your drone in Oregon? From stunning waterfalls to rugged mountain peaks, Oregon does offer a plethora of stunning locations for aerial exploration. I can testify to that. But before we proceed, Let's navigate through the regulatory landscape, not as legal advice, but for informational purposes only. I'll share with you a few key considerations for drone pilots here in the Beaver State. Drone pilots who fly drones in Oregon have the freedom to fly both controlled and uncontrolled airspace, but understanding the regulations is crucial. The FAA plays a central role in promoting airspace safety, requiring compliance with federal rules and regulations for all drone operations. State and local rulemakers have the authority to designate no drone zones for takeoff and landing locations, adding an extra layer of complexity to the regulatory mix. In a few minutes, I'll explain how we can successfully overcome some of these drone pilot challenges. One area of particular interest for drone pilots is Oregon State Parks. Notably, these natural wonders offer unparalleled scenery for aerial photography, but navigating the rules can be challenging. To date, the Oregon Parks and Rec Department is working to establish clear guidelines for drone operations within the state parks. But until then, it's essential that you and I stay informed and abide by any posted regulations to ensure a safe, and hassle-free flying experience. Fortunately, several resources are available to help us Oregon drone pilots navigate the regulatory landscape. The first is the FAA's Before You Fly mobile app. This app provides real-time information about airspace restrictions and other essential details to ensure safe and legal flying. Next, we can call upon Lance. The initialism for low altitude authorization and notification capability. The Lance app offers real time airspace information and streamline authorization processes for drone flights. And we must rely upon our carefully prepared pre flight planning practices. For example, before launching our drone, not only must we understand the purpose of our flight, we must conduct a thorough property profile to identify property ownership or authority and any relevant regulations or restrictions that may apply. Now, let's explore some of Oregon's most popular drone-friendly spots. Here's a list of just 10 highly favored Oregon aerial locales. Number one, Abiqua Falls, a stunning waterfall nestled in the Cascade Mountains, offering picturesque views and moss-covered rocks. Two, Alver Desert, an expansive desert in southeastern Oregon with breathtaking views of mountains and remote wilderness areas. Three, Bandon Beach, 
an iconic beach featuring dramatic rock formations, sea stacks, and beautiful sunsets. Four, Cannon Beach. Picturesque beach with stunning rock formations, pristine sand, and unforgettable sunsets. Five, Crater Lake National Park. Crystal clear blue waters, towering cliffs, and snow-capped peaks make this a must-visit destination for drone enthusiasts. Six, Columbia River Gorge. Known for its waterfalls, scenic vistas, and steep cliffs, offering panoramic views from above. Seven, Casita Head Lighthouse. Historic lighthouse on the Oregon coast providing incredible views of the ocean and rugged coastline. Eight, Hell's Canyon, the deepest river gorge in North America, offering dramatic views of cliffs, rivers, and wilderness areas. Nine, the Hood River Valley. It's a scenic valley with orchards, vineyards, and snow-capped mountains, perfect for aerial photography. And 10, John Day River. Clear waters, rugged canyons, and abundant wildlife make this a great spot for aerial footage. Now this is just 10 of the many more vista-centric, scenic, Oregon aerial options for all of us to consider. Please help yourself to the complete list by following the link in the description below. Here's your takeaway. As we wrap our exploration of Oregon's drone regulations and top flying spots, remember to prioritize safety, compliance, and respect for local regulations. We must always choose our locations with caution. Let's find out who or what agency controls the land and reach out to them with any questions for authentic clarification and verification before we fly. By staying informed and practicing responsible drone flight, we can ensure a positive experience for both drone pilots and the communities we fly over. That's a wrap for this Drone Pilot Business Strategy Session. Where can you fly your drone in Oregon? If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe for more practical drone pilot strategies. Have questions or suggestions for future upcoming episodes of Drone Pilot Business Strategy Magazine? Do drop them in the comment section below. Until next time, Clear skies, fun flying. I'm Tony Moreno. Thanks for watching and keep on droning. It's an iconic beach featuring dramatic rock formations, ski stacks, ski stacks. We're going to go to ski stacks. Nice. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you'd like to hire us, you can get more information by visiting aerialnorthwest.com. Be smart, safe, and fly responsibly.